ओम श्री साई राम प्रशांति संदेश साई पर्ल्स ऑफ विजडम वेलकम्स यू भगवान श्री कृष्ण हैज डिक्लेयर्ड आई हैव इंस्टॉल्ड माई सेल्फ इन द हार्ट ऑफ एवरी लिविंग बींग सो गॉड हिमसेल्फ हैज चोजन द हार्ट एज हिज अबोर्ड Swami says the spiritual heart is quite different from the physical heart which of course is a vital organ of the body in spiritual terms the heart is eternal and unchanging the one who realizes this principles attains all types of knowledge the real freedom is contained in this realization here is a story from the shirdi incarnation which tells us how god is the indweller in the devotee's heart she dada saheb kaparde was an ardent devotee of sainath he used to visit shirdi quite frequently once sainath kept Dada Saheb with him for a long time to protect him from being arrested by the police during the British Raj. Sri Madhav Rao Desh Pandey was another ardent devotee of Sai Nath. He used to call Sai Nath Deva, and Sai Nath used to call him Shama. On eighth December. 1911 shri dada saheb kaparde had a very unusual experience he went to madhavrao's house and found madhavrao fast asleep but every time he inhaled and exhaled with each breath the sound sainath maharaj could be heard from this mouth this sound was quite clear and could be heard from quite a distance this shows that mother of had crossed the four steps of devotion samipya closeness to god sarupya to see god in all salokya to concentrate on him sayujya to merge in god swami says bhakti devotion leads to shakti power and shakti leads to yukti the skill the yukti helps you fix your rakti attachment on the proper objects and your bhakti thus promoted finally results in mukti liberation one day swami told the devotee i'll come to your house the devotee got very excited and gave his address to swami Swami asked for the address once more the devotee repeated it swami said that is not your house it is a rented place your body is your house i am ever present there but due to illusion you are unaware of it remove the maya and experience my presence every pure heart is prashantilayam and bhagwan baba dwells there in all his glory bhagwan shri krishna says the love towards those who are worthy of worship is devotion bhagwan baba says the two types of bhakti one is sahaja bhakti and the other is vishesha bhakti sahaja bhakti is satisfied with worship bhajan namasmaran vrata pilgrimage etc vishesha bhakti craves for purity of character suppression of impulses practice of compassion love peace non violence and enquiry while treading the path of devotion the navavidha bhakti are the nine forms of adoration are shravanam 
to listen to God's glory. Kirtanam, to sing God's glory. Vishnusmaranam, to chant God's name. Padasevanam, to worship God's lotus feet. Vandanam, to bow down to God. Archanam, to offer worship to God. Dasyam, to serve God. Sneham, to love God as a friend. Atmanivedanam. Total surrender to God. Atmanivedanam is the ultimate form because God gets bound by the devotion of a devotee who has completely surrendered to Him. We find innumerable examples of Bhakta Paradhinata. Yes, He submits to Bhakta. That's what it, it meant. To name a few, Sri Krishna ate the parched rice offered to him by his poor friend Sudama. He ate granules of rice at Vidura's place and weaved cloth for Kabir. Lord Vithala washed clothes for Janabai and served Sant Eknath as a servant named Sri Khandya. When Swami was residing at the old mandir, there was an aged lady, devotee, named Sakamma. She could not bear separation from him. She was very concerned that Swami should have his meals on time. She would fear that his health could get affected if he went out in the bright afternoon sun. Consequently, she would follow him wherever he went. But it was impossible for her to bind this mischievous God to one place. Whenever Swami was missing, she would go all over the village in search of him, walking with the support of a stick. Finally, after getting tired, she would return only to find Swami resting in his room. On seeing him taking rest, she used to feel at ease. Baba used to pretend that he was resting only to please Sakama. The moment she turned her back, he would vanish someplace. During the same time, there was another lady devotee named Yadalam Subbamma, who used to come for Swami's darshan in those days. The journey was not easy. She used to come there by taking any means of transport that was available and would bring moong dal doshas and chitni for Swami. The doshas were prepared in the morning. The moment he saw her, Swami would ask for the bag and would happily partake the cold doshas and chitni. And Yadalam Subbamma used to ride on the waves of bliss. Many others who used to bring several sweet delicacies, but Swami used to ignore them and prefer to have the cold dosa and chitni brought up by his dear devotee. Isn't this the best example of how God is bound by the love of his devotee? Bhagavan Baba has shown us that three paths that led to liberation, work, worship, wisdom and interrelated. Bhagwan says, let all your work be based on wisdom. Let your bhakti be permeated with humility, love, compassion and non-violence. Karma is like a passenger train which moves slowly. When you mix bhakti with it, it picks up speed and moves like an express train. Karma and bhakti together develop the knowledge of the true self and this enables you to start the real journey towards your inner self. Well, here is a story from Shirdi Sai incarnation. On 4th March 1912, Lakshmi Bhai Kapardhe, an ardent devotee of Sai Nad, went to Dwarkamai in the afternoon with a food platter to offer naivajam. Usually at noon, Sayana did not give 
permission to ladies to enter dwarka mai but he did not stop lakshmi bai and he but part of the naivajyam lovingly after the meal sainar took his seat and purposefully stretched his legs on seeing this lakshmi bai was very happy and she started massaging them everything seemed fine up to now but later something unusual happened sainar held lakshmi bai's hands which were massaging his leg, legs and started pressing them with his own hands on seeing this madhurav this pandey remarked deva what a remarkable sight we are seeing we are witnessing the actual expression of love between god and his devotee this is wondrous sainath was very pleased with lakshmi bai's attitude of seva and he whispered in her ear keep chanting raja ram raja ram constantly sainath who normally did not give a mantra to anybody being pleased with lakshmi bai's devotion lit with a lamp of wisdom in her heart in order to guide her on the path to liberation well here is a story from the life of the present sri satyasai avatar according to hindu calendar every four years there is adhika masa an additional month this period considered very auspicious because it is very dear to god is also known as purushottama masa month of purushottama god there is a custom that during this month an akhand deep lamp that burns continuously is lit and kept burning in front of god's idol and a lamp is also offered to him in the name of purushottama once a devotee of swami was traveling to puttaparthi for bhagwan darshan during this month yes his wife gave him a silver lamp and asked him to offer her pranams and give it to swami the devotee went to baba offered him pranams and took the lamp out to give it to him swami asked what is this the devotee replied this is a lamp offered to you by my wife on the occasion of purushottama masa swami accepted the lamp but did not seem very pleased about it he said tell her there no need for this external rituals she has the eternal flame of devotion in her heart let her always keep that burning bright the couple remembered this instruction and always and reverentially followed it throughout their lives bhagwan baba has said vedas declare there are three types of bhakti bhautika ekanta and ananya bhautika bhakti is connected with jada the physical if one is immersed in meditation and idols experiences arise out of body mind and intellect and they are transient the body has to perish one day and so experiences also perish however this type of bhakti is necessary for the first stage traveling on this path we should slowly march toward the second stage ekanta bhakti this bhakti means dedication to one idol or form and experiencing mental vision of that one form exclusively in privacy ekanta bhakti is a subtle state achieved by effective control of the mind and experiencing one self as antaratma the indweller in case of ekanta bhakti the mind is dissolved and is in a still state one develops the feeling that god is everywhere and in every being and lastly bhakti without any other thought or feeling is ananya bhakti 
it is one point of devotion to god involving total surrender swami also says bhakti is not a temporary state it is an unbroken contemplation of god without any interposing thought or feeling sadhana to be undertaken constantly earlier during guru purnima and vaikuntha ekadashi bhagwan baba used to give amruta nectar to his devotees all the devotees used to sit in rows in a disciplined manner and swami used to move among them and give amrut which manifested from his divine lotus hands after the devotees it was given to the several volunteers too one year after distributing amrut to everyone swami was leaving for his residence on the first floor a lady devotee named saradamma came up to him this saradamma was blessed with darshan and nearness to both shirdi and parthi sai she said swami i did not get amrut shall i sit here he gave her permission to sit baba put a drop of nectar in her mouth with the silver spoon from the vessel in his hand but she said swami not even a drop has entered the mouth baba said second chance and he stirred the spoon in the silver vessel thrice and in no time the entire vessel was filled with amrut swami put some in her mouth and then gave it to all the students the same sardamma once asked baba swami it is said that one attains immortality on partaking partaking nectar but i have seen several people who have passed away in spite of taking partaking amrut given by you why is it so swami replied i don't give amrut to grant physical immortality i give it to bestow wisdom health devotion and good qualities bhagwan baba bestows devotion and knowledge upon us let us pray at his lotus feet that we may have the ability to accept his grace sairam will meet again